For some people, that negative voice inside their head can lead them to feel that their life is hopeless and they feel the only option and way out of the suffering is through self-harm. Meet Chris, who when I first spoke to him was in a world of pain, experiencing raging anger that was controlling his life. This is his journey from having suicidal thoughts to discovering his self-worth and going from being victim in his life to becoming the victor and determined to better himself every day. A truly inspiring transformation. I wanted to ask you, what actually brought you to book a session with me? I was distraught, like I had no answers. I felt like I was a horrible father. I felt like I was a fit person. I just felt like I had no answer. I felt like I was on the verge of suicide, like I was just you know, like I didn't know what to do anymore. Like I was ready to, I felt like I, I was ready to quit. And only other, only option was to, was, was to bloody take my life. I wasn't happy. Like I had no answers. I didn't know what to do. I, I was playing victim. Like I just, why does everybody do this? Yeah, I didn't know. Like I remember I spent bloody time just sitting in my car crying mm. on the phone to you, you know, like just reaching out for help, really. I didn't want to bloody hurt myself. Yeah. But it's just like, it, like my, my mind was just telling me to, you know, like that was it. Mm. Like, you know, like I just didn't have any idea, you know, my kids were the ones holding me here, but I just still, like, just still like, you know, like they're holding me here, but I don't want to be here. So tell me what's changed? Well, I don't play victim no more. I think the biggest thing is, you know, I've had some pretty bad things done. that happened, uh, you know, with my family and like I left my relationship and everything like that. But in nowhere has, has a thought of, of of harming myself popped up. What are you seeing now instead? The self-worth. You know, just my self-worth, like who I am, you know, like my kids are everything to me. You know, like I've got, you know, like I went through shit and it created a world of, and not knowing and never having a role model to, to teach me otherwise, to teach me the right way. but. You know, without that life, I wouldn't be able to give my kids the one that I'm trying to give them now. You know, like, I can teach them how to, to do with their, with their crap. <laughs> yes, that's right. And this is the beautiful thing about it. When you break your stuff, what's holding you captive and victim, right? What you're mm. actually doing is you're freeing your children. You're just not yeah. freeing yourself, but you're also freeing your children. But I think the big, yeah, the biggest thing is that, yeah, like, I just don't have those thoughts of hurting myself anymore yeah. you know like i relax more at night you know like and and just the boundaries having an understanding you know and being educated and, and learning and where and whose emotions fit where boundaries are there for a reason you know and they're there to protect ourselves you know if somebody's upset and they're trying to hurt you you know removing that emotion between you and that per person not let them reflect their emotions on you. Danny, how did you find all the online? It's good. It's good. Like it doesn't. It's not even because that's the people who say, "Oh, you know that 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 lawyer. She's a lovely lady. You know, like tell her that she's passionate and she generally cares." And, and I said it as well. You know, I said, she, you know, you're not just a number." I said, "You know, lie lie was in a bad place once in her her life. She's not just somebody that went to school for it. You know, I said she was in. She she was once a client. She found that." that she wanted to help people the way she was helped. Not first-hand experience. No own comfort in your own home. It's like you're actually in my brain. <laughs> 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 you know, you sound like you're growing up. Talking to you, you can tell that yeah, you're more, you're more collective with the things that you're saying, like, you, you, you know, like you're coming across more, more like that you, that you, you know, you, you think about more what you're saying now. Things just don't tend to get to you a whole lot more. Like the, I don't have that. I don't. I don't get that. You know, like I still get annoyed at times. You know, like yeah, yeah. You know, but I don't get that anxiety feeling. Like I don't get that. It just gone. Oh, there's no, there's no, there's no feeling lingering inside of me. There's no, there's no like I'm gonna walk around this truck now, but I'm coming back. I'm gonna fight you. If something got me fired up, I'd walk around and I'd be raging. Like, I'd be ready to fight someone. Like, you know, I'd be there yelling at them and almost threatening them. You know, ready to fight. But now, like, I just tell them to leave. <laughs> wow. You know, like, you know, but I, I walk away and there's no, 
there's no rage feeling anymore. Like I don't feel like I'm raging. Like yeah, I don't feel like I want to kill myself. I don't feel like you know, like I just you're setting those boundaries with them. <clears throat> you know, you've got to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You know. And you know what? You said something so beautiful before. Love is easy. People aren't. Yeah. Yeah, people aren't. We all have a story. We all have experiences. Bloody true. It's it, it's very profound what you said. Yeah, yeah well, I think it is because love love is there. You know, love is good. Love feels good. You know, lo love comes naturally. You know what I mean? But everything else is the people in that love, you know, that, that, that make it hard, make it difficult. You know, it's their lives, you know, their, their flaws. Their, everyone's maps are different. Like, like I expected a more okay. It's like, it's confusing. It's like I, I wanted more from them. You know, like I would apologise, but I'd constantly apologise. But then it was almost like I was trying to turn it around onto them. Mm. You know, like, and, and I was, you know, and maybe you could say that old thing and I was like, really, I'm not actually sorry, but I want them to feel like that, you know, that they they, that they feel bad that I've had to apologise and, and I'm trying to prove something to them. We all make mistakes, we get over it, we move on and, and we learn from it. It's like I constantly apologise. Mm. I only need to say sorry once or twice, you know? Yeah. You know, like I don't need to keep telling them that I'm sorry. Well, wow. Um, our job is done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Still, our job's done, but my journey's still going. That's right. Yeah, you know, like got tools there and understandings and stuff like that that I can continue to better myself every day. You know, like I'm definitely a lot better than what I was and stuff like that. Every day is going to be a new day. Every day is going to be a journey and just keep going with it. When I was having those off days, I was trying to think about, you know, what are these, you know, what's the purpose of these feelings? So, uh, you know, being more aware of them and trying to have a fine understanding, find out where they're coming from exactly, you know, like what's the meaning? Like I know why they're there, but, you know, like I'm just trying to figure it out. Anyway, just thinking about it. I took a deep breath. And and I and I was thinking about the willow tree, oh. and and the park across the road from my nana and pop's house, and 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 the smell, you know, and just inside my nana and pop's house and backyard and the and the shed. Beautiful. And I feel I start feeling better. Oh, that's beautiful, Chris. Well, I'm so proud of you. On after all this, I'm still on my journey every day, <laughs> you know. But I have certain tools now, I have more understanding, I understand more about emotions, I understand more about myself and my self-worth and values and what and boundaries and and, and you know like and, and uh, other people's actions and emotions and where it all connects. You know, and understanding all of that sort of stuff. Um, you know, and that's that's like my tools and you know the one time I couldn't figure out why I was feeling emotional and stuff like that, but you know like but I knew what makes me happy. You know, I'm feeling sad. I can't change that right now. I can't. I can't. I can't change the fact that I'm alone right now because the reality of it is, I am. I am. But what? What's going to make me happy right now? Okay, I can't think of anything. But I do know something that does make me happy, and it happened a long time ago. It's the, the smell and and the times I used to spend up at my nana and pop's house, you know, and the willow trees and stuff like that. You know. And, and and that's what makes and 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 that's like a tool. It's like well, you know, like I can't figure out right now, you know, why. But I'm going to use this just to pull me out of it a little bit, you know. All right, Bye. well, I'll talk to you soon. Will do. You take right. care. Yeah, you too. All right. All right see, you, Bye. see you later. Bye. If you've been feeling like life is too much and you're looking for help and support, and this sounds like something that would benefit you, please book a call because one conversation can change your life.